It's only four days away and we've got a look at the chance for partly sunny or better skies, right? And the viewing, if you're in southeast Texas where there will be a partial eclipse, it's not looking good because of the rain chances. So I'm going to zoom in here for North Texas. It's not looking great in parts, especially if you're towards our southeast. But there does look like we could see uh, some good conditions in Bonham, closer to northern Collin County, along the path of the total eclipse. So here's what it looks like right now. The path of totality is highlighted for you there. This is Monday at 8 in the the morning, likely seeing high clouds to start the day. Now we're going to notice more low level clouds moving in. So think about those uh, cumulus clouds, some of those really puffy clouds that sit kind of closer to the surface. That would make viewing very difficult. The good news is that between one and two, the rain will hold off here locally, but it is going to be to the southeast. We're going to eventually see those storms moving north like Greg did mention. So the total solar eclipse viewing, here's what we know. We'll likely see partly cloudy skies and likely high clouds overhead. High clouds will still make it possible for viewing. But here's the thing that we're questioning still the thicker low level clouds that move in throughout the day. So it gets cloudier as the day goes on because of the moisture coming in from the Gulf. So we'll be watching for that here in the next few days. But here's the thing, even if it's cloudy during the eclipse, it'll still become dark, so it'll still be a cool sight to see. Mark. Well, rain or shine, we've got our special team coverage of the eclipse next Monday, Mariel, and you're going to be there at the Perot Museum of Science in downtown Dallas. We'll have astronomers from the Carnegie Institute of Science as well. And We've got a two hour special that begins on WFA plus at noon at 1:30. We will have the eclipse live here on WFAA.